Went to make a tackle two years ago. Uh, three fellas fell on my neck and snapped the C6, C7 vertebras. Uh, disc exploded into my spinal cord, compressed it to a millimetre. Uh, it then hemorrhaged and you should normally be a quadriplegic. They took the disc out of my spine and for some reason my legs started moving again. Um, after that, it was uh, just a slow recovery. Had three operations, two bone grafts from each hip um, and a metal cage inserted into my neck, which is calcium infused. On the third operation, they compressed my spine an extra half a centimetre, so I'm actually all over a centimetre shorter now. Um, it's all sweet and plenty of rehab. I said to myself when the doctor came in after my first operation and he said you could play footy again if you wanted, I thought beautiful. So I've always aimed for that one goal and um, in the back of my mind I've always wanted to prove one coach wrong that told me I'd never play football again and to that day I've, I've proved, it, proved him wrong now and it sort of made me achieve my goals. Everyone gets injured, if you're worried about getting injured or seriously hurt have a look at all the car accidents that happen every day. People still drive cars, so um, in the in looking at two different aspects that way, it's if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. And there's a lot of, I suppose, for kids, there's a lot of rules that stop major injuries happening and uh, headgear and protection and all that kind of stuff. And if a kid wants to play rugby league, then allow him. If he doesn't, then well, he doesn't. They run over Kevin Kingston when I play Penrith next. <laughs> Uh, he's a bit of a soft defender, so I haven't had a chance to play him yet. And um, no, no, I don't. I don't have any goals. Each each week is a new week, and just to play a game after game after game, and play as many as I can. And then as a family, um, hopefully have some kids soon, so I can take my mind off footy.